We have 800 military points. It's definitely time for a general. Alright, who wants to be general number one for our, our fearsome Hizvan Kaifa? I'll, I'll lead your wrecking ball army. <laughs> Solaire? Alright, sure. Solaire it is. Solaire, welcome to E4. Alright, let's see what you get. 052! Not very many pips, but they're all in the right place. Pretty good. Um, I mean, we both have rival attitude toward each other, technically. I just think we're too strong to allow him to rival us again. Let's let's do declare humiliate rival for science. We won't be able to take a province, but I'm okay with that. Kind of. Let's for science it. So our subjects, we want them to be uh, supportive for now. Everyone can attach to my armies. Just be useful to me. Also, I want you to enable embargo rivals. And yeah, I kind of want all of your trade for right now as well. You don't need money, right? Somehow Sinop is getting killed by Karaman. Looks like Karaman went after Ramazan and Karaman got called in. Or sorry, Kandar got called in. This guy does have an army, but he's not actively trying to do anything with it. Any siege pit leaders from our subjects? Iraq has no leader. Uh, we only have the one army so far, so... Subjects are great. Absolutely amazing when you have ICTA taxation. Look at that. Look at this insane vassal income. Considering that we don't even have like influence ideas or anything yet. Move towards legalism. Make people like us. Cool. Mamluks have canceled the subsidies. No, I need my money. Come on, I'm still a good guy. Don't cancel my subsidies. You want to support me. I'm awesome. Let's check and see if we're actually allowed to show strength. <laughs> yeah. Yep, yeah, we can show strength, but we're not allowed to humiliate. <laughs> so we can get 100 of each monarch points, get 30 power projection, even though we're fighting someone who's not a rival. Let's do it! This is great! Totally. Our heir is righteous. For great justice. Yeah, I'm thinking it's likely we're going to be declaring war, or at least breaking our alliance with Akyun Lusun. I just don't see how we can be friends. We need a, a mosque in Kandatinople. It's like Castile is getting trashed by Aragon plus France. Yeah, that is exactly what you said would happen. You were right. All right, so yeah, let's show strength. Get our power projection up. <laughs> nice. We can invest in military tech early and gain innovativeness. We must be super innovative in Kandatinople. Ooh, beautiful. Naj will not defend by 91 reasons due to occupied and besieged provinces. Yep. We 
We're entering a period of very aggressive expansion, I think. Okay, I have too many military points. Let's roll a general. Who's gonna be our second general? Again, between three and nine pips. Nothing too fancy yet, but what uh, what do you guys want to call it? May I? The, the customary comment is, I shall lead. But yes, Zadek, you may lead. Next time to get it right, you have to say, I shall lead. 2022. Two. Awesome. Siege pip leader. Cool. We can use you. You're good. We like it. All right. Let's go do that. Let's go do this. War weary population. Ah, boo. Come on. We had 20 years of peace and now we've been at war for like a year and now you're going to start whining. Stupid peasants. Yeah, so we could take tech early and get access to cannons, but paying such a, a huge penalty is, is pretty silly. All right, for good measure, let's get one more. Who is next? <laughs> yes! <laughs> I shall lead! It's Bear Pool. Not Beer. Beer Pool. You know, Beer Pool is a good name too. But Bear Pool. Bear Pool, you are next. Bear Pool. <laughs> you're the backup. <laughs> We're probably not going to need you. But it's nice that you're around. Now, to anyone who's wondering why I'm hiring generals rather than like development or something or taking tech early. Uh, we're, we're bumping our professionalism a tiny, tiny bit by starting to, to hire our generals. And if, you, if you're if you not at your leader limit, you might as well. We can still take tech, and you know, if no one's going to compete with me for the tech, then why why pay the ahead of time penalty? We'll just keep checking to see when we need to do it. Alright, do we want to keep moving towards legalism? Yes, obviously, always. Excuse me, Roomba, why did Galray attack Castile? That's a good question. Defender against Galray in the Galran Conquest of Breda. Ah, right, the uh, Burgundian inheritance fired and Castile is so weak from their wars with Aragon and France that even Galray, a one province minor, thinks that they can beat Castile, the behemoth. And what's going to end up happening is the Iberian Wedding will fire and then all of a sudden Castile is going to be really strong again. Alright, we got a 056, kind of weak on admin. Our air is pretty bad. We have very little prestige, but we could kill him. He's just, it's just subpar, right? That's only six monarch points on a scale of zero to, nine, zero to 18. Kind of like to get rid of him. I'm thinking ahead now. What kind of idea group do we want to go for first? To get the achievement, I think we have to own all the land ourselves, right? All provinces owned in those regions need to be owned by us directly. Yeah. However, we're Sunni. We have access to Ikta government type, so it plays really, really well into innovative vassal swarming. Not innovative, uh, influence-based vassal swarming. So influence ideas. I'm not taking naval. Stop it. It's not, it's not even a real idea. It's a, it's a fake idea group. Not to mention the liberty desire in subjects is very strong. I might go for influence. Means we should start focusing dip now. Let's go for that. Yeah, we're gonna go for influence. Put it to a vote? Ah, but if we do a vote, you guys might vote wrong. <laughs> and then what? What am I gonna do if you vote wrong? I don't wanna take the wrong idea group just because you guys are silly. Alright, so Saran has a core on both. Iraq has a core on just this one. So let's actually give a little bit to both. Give one to Iraq and one to Saran. And they'll both have horrible border gore. It'll be great. We have to pay diplo points that way, unfortunately. Unless we give if we just give both to Saran, we pay no diplo points. Yeah, we should probably not pay diplo points. We could spend those diplo points better. Besides, Iraq's going to have a lot of cores to return. OK, 
Okay, we definitely need to improve relations. Economy suffering due to diverted trade. Oh, stop your whining. Your economy's not suffering. It's fine. Totally a real poll. Totally a real poll. I don't know if I believe Zippy. What the heck, Zippy, your polls suck. Influence, espionage, naval, Bob Dole, Teddy Reservoir. All right. Do you seriously want to do a poll? All right, let's talk about options for our first study group and why they are valid and not wrong. <laughs> options are we have pretty solid national ideas. Like we can just, you know, it's good. It's fine. Kind of, kind of a military focus, really. With the shock damage received, discipline, morale of armies, cavalry combat ability. We're not going to go for military ID group first, because even though we're ahead of time on Miltech, and even though we have a ton of military points, military first just usually feels wrong to me. Although we do have a 0.56 leader, so we could, we could totally swing it, actually. I just don't usually get that opportunity. Alright, realistically, options are innovative. Innovative is always an option. Always. It's a regularly, really good idea group. The earlier you, earlier you take it, the more innovativeness you get overall. It's a great idea group. Love it a lot. Love monthly work exhaustion. Love advisor costs. Love love all of it. It's all good. Economic is not an option. I, I don't care how, how much we've developed the capital. Kandatinopol is a great place, but we're not going to really develop it much more. And yeah, nah, nah. It's just not that good. Not compared to the other options. We don't need administrative because even though, yes, it's going to pay for itself with the core creation cost, the Merc type stuff is useless to me. So, in this category, it's, it's really just innovative that I'd consider, for now. In Diplomatic, I would really only consider influence. Trade is too early, we don't have enough provinces to really take advantage of it. Diplomatic is, in my opinion, strictly worse than influence. They do basically the same thing, except this one does it better. You do want Diplomatic at some point, but you don't need it yet. Espionage is not a real option. It's not a real option. And then, because we have so many military points, and most importantly, because we have a 0.56, we have so much potential generation for military points, and we're already super far ahead of time on tech, I would be willing to consider a military idea group first. So that opens up quite a few options. The three that I think are, are reasonable first picks for military idea groups are aristocratic, offensive, and defensive. And I personally prefer offensive out of those three because offensive is going to pair well with either innovative influence or other things. But, because we have Sunni ideas and we have access to the cavalry combat ability, we could use some cav. It's a good idea group. Um, it's situational, but it's decent. It's an option. I would, I would consider aristocratic. And again, personally, between offensive and defensive, I think defensive is a very good idea group. It's definitely better, in my opinion, than quality and quantity. Personally, I, I think the morale of armies, yearly army tradition, is more than enough. Plus, you get the guaranteed pip. Not to mention, you reduce your attrition by 25%, which is massive. Um, but it's still just, I think, worse than offensive. Mostly because of policies. I think policies are what make offensive slightly better. That, that and the offensive siege ability. So... So those are the six options. Innovative, influence, aristocratic, offensive, defensive. I will put them in a poll and allow you guys to choose. We don't even know what boats are. Boats? We have no coastal provinces. Why would we take naval ideas? It shouldn't even be an option, honestly. If you don't have the ability to make boats, why are you allowed to choose naval ideas? Alright, so we have... Cassus Belly on our ally, our ally, and that's about it. We do border this guy. We've got a truce with Kara. Uh, we don't have anything going on with the Timurids, but... We are also over the relationship limit right now. No, you may not become a march. Build ships. Just do it. Just do it. You know you want to do it. Crap, military point cap. I mean, at this point, it's so much to do more development that I don't think it's worthwhile, but for the memes, lol, we should just do it anyway. It's just so inefficient, especially if you guys end up choosing a military ID group, <laughs> which we're about to take. So, but one, one click's not going to hurt anything, right? 
even if you have the ability to take to build boats, naval is still bad. Just ask Japan how much it helped them when they fought France in the Eve Land Party. You know what would also be great though is if we actually had a province of our own. Can we seize a province from Saran even though he's... Yes. I could totally seize one of these. Like, I need that, yo. Give it to me. Give it to me now. Guess <laughs> what we can do. We can wait for him to get rid of the devastation in this province, and then we'll seize it. Seize his grain, so we can have it. And then we can grant it to the nobles and get clicks in. Exactly, a second province. That is a really interesting concept, by the way. There is a, um, there was a post on Reddit a long time ago where a guy played as, I think it was Lubeck or Frankfurt or something. Oh, you know, like one of those things in the HRE. He had to be a monarchy because he became the emperor. And when you're the emperor, the... He revoked the privilegia and they all compare their strength to you individually. So he had a massive force limit from subjects and from being the emperor and was somehow able to be a one province minor emperor and... Could be fun. Alright, so he's gotten rid of the devastation for us now. So Ran has... 21 Liberty Desire. If we seize the province of Kirkuk, we're gonna lose 45, so I need to placate twice. He doesn't have any debt. We can force him into debt in the next war, though. Alright, let's see what the results of the poll are. Yeah, I think it's time. Did you vote? Did you vote? Your chance to vote is now gone. Results of the poll are offensive at exactly 50%. How close was it? 115 votes versus 115 votes. It's a tie between influence and offensive. A perfect tie. Wait. Received 34, votes 115. Received 33, votes 115. So that's that's saying who voted for it as the primary option, but it is still a perfect poll, perfect uh, tie. So usually in that case, uh, I, I get to choose, but. But. Offensive wins based on the first vote. Actually, influence had 34 versus offensives 33. So influence would win if we want to go by that. Yeah. All right. Influence it is. You guys voted right. Good job. That does mean we have lots and lots of military points. <laughs> Which means we probably, I mean, <laughs> honestly, we probably should go for a military idea group. We're behind time on Diplotech. We're... <laughs> it's just subjects, man. They're so good. They're so good. Wasting mill points. I mean, yeah, seriously, we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing like development for no reason at a horrible, horrible 150 price. Oh, let's do one little quick tiebreaker vote. Hunting accidents. Oh, well, cool. Got to kill our baby without actually having to pay 50 prestige, which is nice because he's not very good. All right, so someone has taken tech and we do want innovativeness because innovativeness is good. However, we're going to take a an idea group soon and it might might possibly be military depending on what you guys chose offensive yeah <laughs> all right in that case let's not worry about taking miltech this many years early for two extra innovativeness it's just not worth it we do have to do something about this extra relationship though like say dump the alliance with akinlu probably We've already lost all of our favors from having the Joint Offensive Wars things turned off. The issue is that if I rival him while being allied to the Mamluks, we're even more likely to lose the alliance with the Ottomans. And I don't want that right now. I can't believe the Ottomans are still allied to him, honestly. Hey, Nation of Ottomans have declared war upon Kandar. 
and Aki Ilnu has dishonored their alliance. Of course I'll join. I'm way, totally, way better than that idiot Akinlu. You should know this. I'm your best friend, Automan. <laughs> 